Hi, Phil Aston here from NAS Binning Magazine, and this is a video about storage and options to many of us who are finding ourselves running out of room. And it's the video I promised when I hinted that I was getting rid of my single CD jewel cases and replacing them with small poly sleeves. And you can see from here, can't you, that this is the same amount of single jewel cases and at the bottom is how much space I've saved by going over to this as a concept. Now, before I go into more detail, some of you will look at this in horror and think, how can you possibly get rid of your jewel cases and replace them with these? And if you, like a, a lot of my American subscribers, you have large houses with basements and you, um, and you have rack to rack, um, shelves with tons of CDs on. Many of us in the UK and probably various parts of Europe don't have that amount of space or we share homes with other human beings who like to have their interests around the house as well. Um, my music collection is everywhere in my home. It's everywhere except the bathroom. The garage is full of crates and boxes. Even under the stairs is full of thousands of CDs. They're all around me, plus vinyl. At, at the other it, wherever this camera would point you would see my music collection but when i do my music for mental health series i like some sense of order in my life and once it gets to a point like i'm going to bring up a clip now once it got to a situation where i was getting crates and crates of cds with crates top I'll put on top of other crates on top of other crates so to get play something at the bottom crate meant i had to literally lifting lift off different crates to get to it and then try and find it and see if it's in there. I wasn't finding that enjoyable. Um, I was finding it actually quite depressing. And if anything, it was making me play less and less music. And also, many of us will have a situation where we have what we call our to playlist. It's a pile of CDs that we haven't put away yet, but we're going to, but the re because we haven't played them all thoroughly or whatever. But the real reason we haven't put them away yet is because we're not quite sure how we're going to do it because there are some CDs in that pile that come under the letter D or S, and we know in that part of our shelves, there's no room. So are they, well, how are we going to do that? And so I just reached a point, and I spoke to um, Chris Harris and Simon Big Small at the Now Spinning Magazine Facebook group, who had done a similar exercise, and I also saw a couple of people on YouTube doing similar things, and they said, Phil, you can have this situation, we have these sleeves, small sleeves, and the ones I chose, because I know some people have asked, is by a company called um, 3L, made in Denmark, and they come in packs of 100. And I thought I'd try 100 to start with. And they, to me, they just look like little vinyl albums in little vinyl sleeves. And I, I liked it. And I'll bring up a video now and see how they look. Because what I did was anything that was a 2CD CD, I left in the case. Anything with the digipack, obviously it stayed the same. And anything in a fat box, CD box, stayed the same. So I use those as markers to differentiate where the different bands start. But you can see from the video that's up on the screen now that it's actually quite easy for me to find whatever I want. But I find this really tactile and I, I like it. I'm, and the fact is all the, all, the rec all the CDs that were in crates, piled on the floor, not in any order, are now filed on shelves with plenty of extra room for me to buy more stuff. And I'm playing more music. I feel better. I feel like I'm uh, I'm closer to my collection. Some of the stuff, you know, there's a people on the on the Facebook group who say, "Oh, I've got that. It's in the archive um, or the vault or something." And it meant that it was in the garage or in separate storage. I just can't. I just can't do that. I want to be able to see. Oh yeah, I haven't played that for ages because I see a post or someone talks about something. I want to be able to go to the shelves or whatever it is and get it. And put it on. I mean, that is what I, I need my music collection to be accessible. And this has changed everything I've done. I've done over two and a half thousand now, and I have not kept these. I was going to, but what was I going to do? I was just I was creating more of a situation where I've, I've made myself loads of room, but I've now got like thousands and thousands of old jewel boxes, and a lot of them are cracked and dirty and scratched and mucked up and. They're not, they're actually not as 
attracted to this and the way that I use them, you know, just by the way that you squeeze the sides, I get the CD out without touching it. It doesn't scratch anything. Um, the, the CD itself is not against the, uh, the sleeve. It's actually against the back of the natural sleeve. And um, it's easy to read on the back. And it just feels it feels great. And if I want to get a few off the off the shelf to just browse through, like looking through books and stuff. Because remember, I've said before, the amount of us as music collectors who sometimes just like to have our music around us to look through the notes and stuff, and we're not actually playing any music. We just like to have it. It is like I've said, it's it's like a it's like a private art collection that's been put together and created just by yourself. Um, they're like diary entries of your life. Um, some of them have got multiple diary entries, and multiple things going on in your life because you played them so much and they're so important. But others, you maybe haven't played them, you know, for such a while, um, like we do. I, I do have a deluxe edition of this, um, but this has got a, you know, a different, a different sound to it. Um, and Secret Treaties, is, I've also got that as part of the big Royster Court box set. But again, it, it just feels really, really good. So that's what I have done. And I've done it because of space space issues. If I had an extra wing to the house and I had all the shelf space I could ever dream of, I wouldn't have done this probably. But I don't. And I don't want to stop buying music either. And so I had to make a decision. But the way that this looks and the way it's made me feel, and I've just just extended the project out into my wife Sue's classical music collection and she's over the moon because she can just flick through she can literally just flick through her music like going through a vinyl vinyl crate and um, she just loves it and and we're playing more music we're enjoying it and I, I just love the, the feel of these so that's what I have done but I know not everyone may agree with this as a plan um, I could have extended it and doing it to every every case like this but I haven't as I said Two CD sets are, are haven't been touched. It's just the single, single cases, and really, really happy. So let me know what you think. Tell me if you think I'm bonkers, and tell me if you've done the same type of thing, and um, it, and you're happy with what you've done, or, or you've got any other tips and stuff for other collectors. And it'd be and it'd be great to great to have a chat about it. So thank you for watching, thank you for being here, thank you for subscribing and ring that little bell so you don't miss out on any future videos from Now Spinning Magazine. So that would be great and you can also support me further by becoming a patron or a YouTube member. It all makes a great difference. But remember, music is the healer and the doctor. So stay safe everybody, keep spinning those discs and I shall see you very, very soon.